All right, so what we're going to do is do what we did before, but backwards. We're going to write all the trig functions, given, func uh, given a graph or given certain things that we know about it. So just to remember real quick, the A out in front is the amplitude. And if it's negative, it flips it over. If it's negative, a vertical reflection. All right. And so this B changes the period. It's not the period in itself. It's 2 pi. The period now is 2 pi divided by whatever B is because it has the opposite effect because it's with the X. If this is a 2, the period's not 4 pi. It's just pi, half of pi, because it's doing the opposite of what we expect. This is horizontal movement that's opposite. This is vertical movement. That's exactly how we think about it. Plus 3 moves it up. Minus 3 moves it down. Plus 3 moves it to the left. Minus 3 moves it to the right. So, um, and then sine function starts in the middle, goes up. Cosine function starts at the peak and returns to the peak. So we need to write a function. To do this, we're going to split it up into several steps. You don't have to do all of these at the same time uh, in this particular order. It's just one way of doing it. So one of the first things you want to figure out is what is the vertical shift? It's not centered at the zero. So what is it centered around and how can we find it? Well, what it's centered around is right in the middle of these two numbers. And so to find it, average the max and the min because it's right in the middle of it, right? So to do that, we do max plus the min divided by 2 is how you find the average. So 7 plus a negative 3 divided by 2. So that's 4 divided by 2 equals 2. So the vertical shift is up 2. And so that's going to be our plus k. That's our k term in our equation. Um, to find our amplitude, should make sense that from, if this is 2, you went up 5, and you went down 5, up 5 gets you to 7, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And so amplitude is 5, and that's our, our A term. Um, if you needed to, technically this is the distance, half of the distance. And so half of that distance is max minus min, divided by 2. I don't like to memorize all these though, and so I just think you through it logically. But if you need it, it's there. Find the period. And so we're going to find the period first, and then we're going to find the number that changes the period, the b, because the b is what goes in our equation. So it started at pi over 4. Minimum is 3 pi over 4, so this maximum is probably yet another same bit. So from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, we've gone 1 pi over 4 to 3, so that's 2 pi over 4, if you think in common denominators or pi over 2. And then we've gone another pi, 2 pi over 4. And so let's just double that. 2 pi over 4 plus another 2 pi over 4 equals 4 pi over 4, or just pi. And so period, this is our period. And that came from, your period is always going to be 2 pi divided by whatever your b is. But notice that if you multiply both sides of this, you get p times b, lead if you will. Um, and then if you divide by p, you get 2 pi divided by your period. So if you ever want to figure out what your b has to be, take your 2 pi divided by your period. So in our case, 2 pi divided by pi 
and so B has to be 2. Phase shift. So we have to choose whether or not whether we're going to use a sine or a cosine function. To be honest with you, I think a cosine function is always the easiest because you can see, okay, well, the cosine shifted from the peak to the right, pi over 4. This is going to be the h. So if we want to shift to the right, in our heads we think, well, then we have to add pi over 4, but remember the h is opposite, so it's going to be x minus pi over 4. And so now we put all of this together. y equals our amplitude, which is 5, and we're going to pick a cosine function because we saw that the peak changed. Our b is 2, x minus pi over 4 was our shift, and then not to forget our plus 2 that we shifted up in the end, and that is our cosine function. Now, this is only one option. Realize that you could have used a negative cosine and said that it shifted to the right 3 pi over 4. Notice that you could have shifted it to the left some amount. This is just the first one I see, and so that's the one I did. Let's keep moving. Let's try another. So the original Ferris wheel, biggest attraction at 1893's World, World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. So let's assume, so you got it ground level, rode to a height of 264 feet. This thing was huge. If you get a second, look up some stuff about this. It, it, um, it held a ton of people. So after everybody was loaded up, it took nine minutes. Please, Maya. Sorry, Maya's my dog and she's a little nervous. To complete a revolution. So you've got a Ferris wheel. Up at the top is 264 feet. And so in the middle is half of that 132 feet. So when you enter it at ground level, you're going to be at height zero. In the middle, when you're a quarter of the way around, you're going to be at 132. When you're at the peak, this is going to be your height. Sorry, I didn't mean to write zero there. And so everything's going to center around the middle of our Ferris wheel. And so our vertical shift is going to be 132 up. And so we're going to have a plus 132 on the end. Our amplitude, well, our amplitude also just happens to be 132 because from 132 you go all the way to the ground and you go all the way up to 64. So from the middle you add and subtract 132 and so this is also happens to be our amplitude. Find the period slash the number that changes the period. So after they actually got going after everybody was loaded up, it took nine minutes to go all the way around because this thing was so large. So nine minutes, let's assume our time is in minutes then. So how do we get 2 pi, the original period, um, so what we talked about before our b was just 2 pi divided by whatever our period that we wanted to be. So 2 pi divided by 9 minutes. So we're going to say t is in minutes. You could do it in seconds if you wanted to, and you could just multiply that by 60. But our t is going to be in minutes. And so I'm just going to make this my b. Um, find our horizontal shift. Well, notice that we are going to be starting at rock bottom. We're going to be starting at height zero. And so from there it's going to go up slowly reach its peak, come back down. And so I think the easiest thing is a cosine that's been reflected because instead of at the peak, it's going to be starting at the valley. A negative cosine. Reflected cosine. And so that we don't have to shift it to the left or to the right. If you wanted to, you could shift it to the right some, and that it's going to be in the middle at a quarter of nine minutes. Or you could shift it to the right four and a half minutes so that you start at the peak. 
but it makes a lot of sense to start when somebody's at the very bottom of it. Um, and it says, write a sinusoidal function that represents your height off the ground at any point in time, given that you are the last group to get on the Ferris wheel. So let's assume that we start here at the bottom. And it'll make a lot of sense. So y equals, or h equals, because we're talking about height, our 132, which is our amplitude. We decided to use a cosine function. And we also decided that it should be a negative 132 so that it starts at the valley rather than at the peak. Our b term should be 2 pi over 9. I don't have a left and right motion. This is none. Sorry, find horizontal phase shift, none, but we did decide that it should be reflected. And so I'm just going to add our t. h equals height and feet. After t minutes. And there we have it, our first story problem of writing functions. So you just want to double check then after that you've included everything and actually I haven't um, because we include our amplitude, we included our period or our B term, we included our reflection and we need to use our 132 at the end and so I'm going to do this plus 132 because that added it because right in the middle we were centered around 132. If we didn't have the 132, we would dip 132 down into the ground and that would not work so well.